My name is Michael Richardson and I'm a technologist with the environment at heart. Cars, the whole automotive world has always been near and dear to my heart and always fascinated from childhood with how things work. I've always been curious about how things work, why they were made the way they were, and how to make them better. We're looking to do something different, something disruptive, something purposeful and useful. It's not uh, a protest, it's an homage to, to the rolling automotive art that's already out there. Look at the, the cars that were built in the, the period that we're focused on. Those cars were designed by artists and they were built by craftsmen. There was a time when after you achieved a certain level of affluence, you had to go buy the, the biggest, loudest, most exotic sports car you could afford. We now are a part of counter-movement. We think this is a new kind of, of luxury that says, no, we're respectful to the people around us, to the environment around us. So do something, don't own something. And when you're driving that car, you are in the environment. And because it's electric, you can hear the environment. You can smell it. You can, you can hear the leaves under the tires. It's the freedom, the, the emotion. Mobility uh, has, a, has a practical dimension and it has to make sense and it has to work for people. E-mobility suggests, at least to me, it also has to be sustainable and sort of connected and safe and make sense in the structure of society. But it doesn't mean that it has to be without soul. It doesn't mean that it has to be boring. We're actually very excited about working with Eon, and we applaud the idea that someone coming from that traditional energy distribution world can take a position that says, we're going to work towards sustainability. We're gonna find ways to make that more profitable for us, for our employees, our shareholders, the communities, than sticking with doing it the old way.